there's me, Eddie Tan, professional jockey, more like professional prick. Top jockey 10 years, been riding horses since I strolled out the womb. I thought today was going to be a life changer, but how fucking wrong was I? Jockeys, five minute warning. There you go, Eddie. All set. Thanks, Crow. Hats on. Jockeys for the first, please. Here, yeah, Nathan. Why do they call them crappy? Oh, it's to do with a dirty weekend in Amsterdam, all the valets oh. had one. <laughs> He needs to do the right thing today, Harry. I've got high hopes for this horse. I'm thinking of entering him for the derby. Don Jules, your typical pompous owner who thinks that any horse of his that finishes out the frame should be sent to the knacker yard. That's his missus, Shelley Jules, the money-grabbing trophy wife. Well, to be honest, Don, the horse has done all the hard work. It's now down to the jockey to do the steering. Harry Speck, the governor, an all-round top trainer, as close a father figure as I'll ever have. There ain't much about this game that he don't know. I hope you're right. Gov? Ed. Eddie? Hiya. How are we? Hello. Now, Eddie, remember what I told you. Jump well, sit off the pace, and wait. Go ahead, Gov. Blackjack's making a run in, so I'm going to sit on him, track him, and follow him all the way through. Perfect. Now, don't mess up today, lad. Got a hefty bet on. Oh, good luck. Yeah. Good luck. No pressure, eh? No pressure. Come on, let's get you up there. That's the all there, Dad. Yeah, I'll see it, son. Jasper and Oris, the father and son duo, two wannabe gangsters who think they run Mogador Town, trying to worm in on a game they know fuck all about. I've just seen the owner put a monkey on. He must fancy it. Come on, let's go around the front and have a look, see what price it is now. Come on, Eddie. Come on, Eddie. Come on, Eddie. Stop fighting him. Let him go. Let him go. Come on. He's left it too late. He left it too late. Come on. Damn. Bloody hell. Come on, Eddie. Harry, I'm afraid that wasn't good enough. We want derby winners, not selling plates. I'm afraid today didn't quite cut the mustard. I want that horse gone as soon as possible. Okay, okay. What the hell happened out there? God, you wouldn't settle. What do you mean he wouldn't settle? Would you settle if I had you in a headlock? I told you, just be handy and bowl along. Gov, he didn't Gov, do Gov, it. Gov, come on. I, to be honest, I don't want to hear it. You know, just because of you, I've lost a good horse today. You'll never be riding for me again. Now get your gear and be gone. you moon man yeah what's wrong with that what's bloody right with it he will improve from that though yeah well maybe if the others don't race it won't be me on him next time Dad, I might want to stop them from yeah be happy all right it's a very good result hello I I want to talk to you about your horse. I'll make you a deal that you cannot refuse 
your problem now. I don't want any trouble. We're not going to hurt you. We just want a little chat, that's all. Okay. Well, what about? Well, we've acquired the source, and you're going to write it for us. Do I get a say in this? No. And what if I say no? We'll hurt you. <sighs> Turns out, you need us more than we need you. And after overhearing and speaking to the owner, you've got no choice you're out of a job. What do I get out of this? Use of your legs. But listen, I can make you into a rich young man if you stick with me. And what am I meant to do with this? Give me a ring as soon as you've made a decision. Legs or ride, your choice. We'll be here when you're ready.